I can't wait to see all these people get what they deserve. And what is that? Uh, justice. Um, I think they should all be thrown in prison, including, I mean, Manafort's the first one, and, you know, I'll be here for all the other ones. Yeah. Here with the buddies, protesting, protesting this, uh, well, you know, really rallying our side to say that, you know, we're going to get justice. Well, I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous that, you know, this stuff has been going on for years and years, and that they're just so brazen with their, you know, criminal behavior. You know, the stuff that he's being tried for today isn't even all of what, you know, is believed that he did. Um, and it's just about our democracy. It's very serious. I'm somebody who takes, you know, voter registration and getting out to vote very seriously. And the fact that, you know, the idea that we're not deciding our own elections, we're not deciding our own fate is, is completely unacceptable got up at 6 a.m. to come here uh, because I think that it's about time that people are held accountable for their actions and for the consequences of what they've done before. And we've seen a lot of that in the past year and a half of people brazenly disregarding the rule of law and the right thing to do. And as it says out here, justice delayed is justice denied. And I'm really looking forward to seeing that actually come through. We've seen a lot with like the special counsel being accused of being a witch hunt, of uh, being politically motivated, yet here are actual concrete charges that you don't have to just take somebody's word for it on TV. You can actually see the research, see the indictments, see what they're actually bringing their um, charges for. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing that, to seeing justice prevail, seeing the investigation go through as it should, and seeing people held accountable, including Paul Manafort, for what he's done.